Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be talking about one of my writing strategy for my content area. Uh, this strategy that I have chosen is called Quick Writes, and I believe it is a good strategy because it allows students to get their you know brain working uh, at the beginning of class, especially in the morning or maybe it's after lunch or even towards the end of school because you know, they want to you know get done with school and you know go home and do what they want to do um, so for my content area which is music the way I would utilize this is by starting each class with an excerpt of music um, and having kids write or answer the questions um, that you see here on the screen um, at the uh, towards the bottom so this uh, this page uh, or PowerPoint will be presented on either a smart board or a projector, uh, whatever the school you know uh, has for equipment. Um, they will, when class starts, they will be seated, and the excerpt, or I'll play about a minute and a half to two minute excerpt of a piece of music, uh, depending on how long the the music is now this can range from early music as in uh, classical music um, so artists similar to Beethoven and Mozart Haydn uh, around that time period or it can be more recent as in 20th century so people or sorry composers uh, like Copeland or uh, Stravinsky and it even can go further into um, uh, to uh, modern music. Um, so artists like ACDC, The Who, or Kenny Chesney, or any uh, any type of musician or band. Uh, so when the students sit down, they will um, listen first to the excerpt and close their eyes to have helped them think you know what feeling are they getting from listening to this excerpt of music and then after the uh, <clears throat> after they figure out the feeling that you know whether it's happy sad um, angry anxious mad um, suspicious um, they can also think about um, components of the music so say um, what kind of dynamics are used or um, what is the note patterns or just elements of music to help them uh, remember you know who the uh, composer is so as after they uh, have listened to the excerpt and have kind of gathered their answers you know in their mind they will uh, grab a clipboard um, with a piece of paper already on it and then they will write <clears throat> they will answer questions three and four that uh, will be presented on the board uh, the questions uh, state to write three to five sentences based on how the music made them feel and then also like I mentioned previously, <clears throat> components of the music, so dynamics, um, also the style of the song, and furthermore, or moreover, to what we have learned um, up to that point. And then they will lastly finish with, you know, do they prefer this music? Uh, why do they prefer it, or why they do not prefer it? So, an example I have here is one of my or one of my students in one of my classes um, wrote uh, about Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. That it was excerpt that you know we listened to for uh, that day. Uh, they talked about the short, short, long pattern. You know, happens throughout the piece. So. I agree with that when you listen it is repetitive throughout the piece he furthermore states that 
it starts out really or it starts out loud and then gets soft so he's bringing in components of the music uh, to help him kind of remember and recall uh, the stylistic um, pieces of the music uh, and then he goes on to say that the music makes him feel scared and then happy and when you listen to the fifth symphony by beethoven you can understand because it does sound dark and then it lightens up and feels you know more light and happy and then he goes on to say that he doesn't prefer this music because it doesn't have any words to it which is true it doesn't have any words to it but um you know that's just how he feels and uh uh, that's his opinion, so he's entitled to it. So this is one way that I will use this strategy. It is, I believe, a good strategy to use in any subject or field. Um, and I hope you en enjoyed this strategy. Thank you.